Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're going to be opening a Munch Pack box. You might be wondering, what's a Munch Pack box? Well, what it is, is a subscription box full of snacks from around the world. That's my understanding. It's not one place. It's not just Japanese or Chinese or whatever. Or like uh, the Yum Yum box, they did different places every month, which, by the way, they told me they liked my video, you guys liked my video, and I haven't heard back from them since, and they won't return my emails. So that leads me to this. I said, I want to open up more boxes of food. I like eating. You guys seem to like the videos. Let's see what we can do about that. So I, I did a little bit of Googling, and I came up with Munchpack, and I said, hey, Munchpack, Send me a box, I'll open it on camera. And they said, okay. So here we are. This is their standard box. It's like 20 bucks. I think it's right around 20 bucks. And you get like a heavy amount of food. I think it's like 10, 10 to 12 items or something like that. You can get the family box, which is a lot bigger, or you can get the smaller one if you want to spend less. That's the general gist of it. You guys can just go to their website. I'll put a link in the description. That way you can see the actual technical specs of the, of the box. What you really want to see though, do that after the video. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So I realized after shooting the video that I'm stupid and I missed a thing. It was like a big thing on the box of the box and it says, download the app, scan the barcode. It'll tell you information about the various items. I didn't know that. I didn't see it while I was doing it. I was too excited to eat the food. So you can do that. If you're wondering where these things come from, you can do that. I know I got some things wrong in terms of where they're from. I know Nestle's a Swiss company. I just wasn't thinking and I was, I was just, I was really, I had low blood sugar. Let's go with that. I hadn't eaten yet and I, I needed to, uh, needed to eat some food. So I just dove into it, but now you have the information. So you can go into the rest of the video with everything you need to know. Stuff from around the world. This munch pack was hand packed with a heart in a beautiful sunny Arizona by Nick. Well, that's interesting. There's some more information there. You guys can pause it and look at that if you need to. I'm not sure what's on that. I think it just tells you to take pictures of your stuff. We're going to set that aside. I'm going to set this paper aside. That's nice. First thing we're going to open. Ooh, that's interesting. It's called... Bamba. It's a peanut snack made by Osem. Let's see where it's from. We're going to see where each of these is from because it's going to be more exciting that way. It should say, it's kosher. It doesn't say where it's from. Am I crazy? I could be crazy. Let's just open it and see. And it looks like a corn puff or a cheese puff. See? Mmm. It smells like peanut butter. It's peanut butter flavored cheese puffs. I mean, no cheese, just puff. You can still kind of taste the corn. You know those dandy corn twisties, which are like cheese powdered? That's what these taste like though with peanut butter. They're not bad. They will definitely make you thirsty, but that's really good. It doesn't say where it's made though. Hmm. I guess I could just be missing it, but... Next, we have Sabritas Habanero. Uh-oh. It says right on there, potato chips habanero flavor. So for those of you that don't know, habaneros are especially spicy. They're little orange. Are they orange? Yeah. I guess they don't have to be orange, but they're little peppers that are considerably hot. This says they're made in Mexico. Hecho en Mexico. I definitely pronounced that wrong. Let's open it. Uh, it even has a warning on there. Cuidando extra picante. Which means warning, very hot. Or caution, very hot. I'm not, I had to say, like I won't not eat hot food, but it's not my... They don't smell that hot. I like spicy things that have flavor, not spicy things that just kill your mouth. But they smell good. Habanero is relatively close to the top of the list of ingredients. Alright, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. They don't smell spicy at all. They smell like salt and vinegar chips. They don't... They don't taste like salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> that is... 
that is just as spicy as <clears throat> as real habanero. I am gonna set those aside, and we're gonna move on. Oh my goodness, that is spicy. I'm sure some of you out there are like, habaneros aren't that hot. Those are pretty hot. My eyes are watering. We're gonna move on to this, which is some kind of beverage. It's clear, it's in a clear plastic with a can top. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what it is though. It says something in a different language. Ingredients are water, fructose, carbonated dioxide, malic acid, citric acid, mango flavor. There we go, mango flavor. And this is from Singapore. Okay. I've had some uh, beverages from that region before and they've usually they've usually been pretty good. So let's crack this open. The spiciness went away. That's interesting. Usually it lingers a little bit longer. That, maybe I'll eat more of those. Let's try the beverage. It's definitely fizzy, or at least it seems like it. Ooh. It's very, very perfumey, aromatic. That's good. That is really good. Stop eating the plastic cat. It's only barely fizzy. That is really good. Wow. You should get some of that. You guys in Singapore. I know I have some, some Singaporean. Is that right? I think that's right. Uh, viewers, uh, you guys drink that stuff regularly? That is fantastic. Get out. That cat is nothing but trouble. Let's move on. We have another beverage, but we're going to move on first. Jelly Tots from Round Trees. This sounds like a European thing. English, perhaps. It has a resealable package. That's kind of cool. And it says right here, flamingos would make excellent ballerinas. Didn't know that, but now we do. This is a Nestle UK. Nestle UK. It's made in, uh, I want to say England. It looks like England, but I'm not sure. Jelly Top. Let's see what we have. I'm not going to open it the way they recommend because... Ain't nobody got time for that. Are they hard candies or are they chewy candies? The cat wants a candy. Say hi, Zeus. Zeus, come on. Okay, here we go. Let's have one. They're chewy. And they're nice and sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Who needs a resealable pack for these? Get out of here. He really wants them. Stop. I need to eat more of these because these taste like heaven. You don't eat gummies, what are you doing? No. Next thing. There's a bunch of stuff in here, guys. There's more than I thought. We have more gummies. We have yummy, yummy, Gundy, can Gundy. Yummy, yummy, gummy candy from Ocean Park. Oh, it's distributed in Pennsylvania. Made in Turkey. Okay. Let's see, why, why do you want candy? Stop that. You don't you don't eat candy. I love gummies. So let's let's have some more gummies. Whoa! They're different sizes. A star. Which is just a little star. And I have a shark. Wow. Those are really chewy. They taste good, but they also taste a little bit like soap. Like soap smells. Hmm. They're good, but interesting. Let's open the next thing. We have the Milkita Vanilla Shake Candy. That's a big bag of candy. Distributed by Nexus Foods in Chino, California. Product of Indonesia. Vanilla Shake Candy. Are they hard candies? I can never tell if these things are hard candies or soft. They feel like hard candies. You're not helping. He's also sitting on the knife. So it feels like a hard candy for sure. So I have to try it though. I'll just spit it out if it's gonna take me too long to consume. It's not hard. It's only kind of hard. It's like, 
like really hard taffy maybe I don't know what that is but that is good everybody around the world has good candy that's what I found so far Ooh, Pocky Pocky I've had Pocky tons of times I grew up with uh, my best friend is Asian and uh, he often visited the stores that sold like specialty Asian foods and he would always bring us back things like this not that I couldn't go the store wasn't far away or anything but he did that so these are a product of Thailand my friend's not Thai he's Vietnamese and uh, Chinese but he always had these because the store sold you know a variety of things Zeus stop So these are basically kind of like little cookie sticks. They call them biscuit sticks, and they have chocolate on them. Double packed. Here's Zeus. Hey, Zeus, look. Zeus, 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 look. Go look at it. Buzz off. I don't know what's wrong with this cat today. Same thing that's wrong with him every day. So these things are fun to eat because they're little sticks with chocolate. You want one? Hey. You don't eat chocolate. You're trying to eat it. You can't eat that. Stop, you're such a little freak. Okay, now we have some sort of a chunky Kit Kat. Is that, that's not something, peanut butter flavor. We don't have this here. I mean, Kit Kat's American, isn't it? But we don't have chunky peanut butter flavored Kit Kats. Where is it from? I can't tell where it's from. I don't know. It looks like it has French on it. No, Russian? Maybe Russian? Looks like Russian could be Polish. Kind of hard to tell. No, it's not Russian. I think it's Polish. Yep, it's from Warsaw. Haha. Uh -huh. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. So this is Kit Kat Poland. Whoa. When they said chunky, they weren't kidding. That's a big Kit Kat. It's like the size of two Kit Kats. That's fantastic. That is the best Kit Kat I've ever had so big and peanut buttery that's really good I don't think we have maybe it's just because I'm used to it but we don't have as many good well I don't know maybe they don't have as many good ones either but the good ones that they're sending from other countries are really good I gotta tell you guys like I'm not getting a commission or anything for this uh, this is good stuff I would suggest signing up for this if you like food stuffs this is worth it. Here's another one. Nestle Lion. So this is some kind of crunchy, maybe nutty, maybe crispy, treaty, some kind of candy bar. I wasn't expecting, it feels very light, like kind of wafery, but it's got caramel and nougat inside and Rice Krispie Treat stuff, like Rice Krispies on top with chocolate. This is the best snack box I've opened. I haven't opened that many, but this is it. This is the one. Here we go. Here's another one. Kinder chocolate. Milk plus, it says plus milk minus cocoa. I don't know what that means. It's very hard to figure out where these things are from based on their languages because I don't, I can't read their languages. And they don't always translate. Like, for instance, Japan isn't Japan in Japan, it's Nihon. So, just because you know the name of a place doesn't mean you actually know the name of a place. So it's individually packaged little candy bars. That's kind of cool. See? You could buy one and share it with four of your friends without spreading germs. That's kind of nice. These look like Kit Kats. Nope, they don't look like Kit Kats. They did at the bottom, but then we have this on top. Mm. 
There's stuff inside. It shows it on the box. I wasn't paying attention. That's fantastic too. That's really good. I wish I could figure out where that's from. I don't know, but that is really good. Okay, moving on. We're not done yet. <clears throat> Almost done, but not yet. We have this. It says, Dark Roca. Dark Roca. Three pieces. Butter crunch toffee, though. That can't be bad. Toffee, butter, crunch. All of those are good things. So you get three of these little tiny things inside that package. I love dark chocolate, by the way. So this cannot be bad. So it's dark chocolatey covered toffee. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is the best chocolatey confection I've ever had. I gotta see if we can find these things in the States. That is so good. That is so good. Okay, last item. It's another can of beverage. Schweppes. Creator of bubbles. Since 1783, bitter lemon. This has to be from the UK. Let's see. Yep, proudly made in Great Britain. I don't know why Bitter Lemon made me think that, but I don't want to end all this sweet, awesome stuff with Bitter Lemon drink. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Kind of hard to open the can, but it's a very tiny can. It smells like lemon juice. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It tastes like lemon. It's kind of like a palate cleanser. This is good. It's not bitter. I mean, it's a little bitter, but it's nice. I like this. This is very thirst quenching. Sparkling lemon soft drink with quinine, with sugar, and sweetener. It's a very tiny can though, and I'm kind of a large person, so is this very goofy looking? I'm sure it was, because I tried to make it look a little bit, but look at this, guys. I got two beverages, both of which taste great. I got, I can't pick up all these different things. There's too many different things. We got a ton of stuff. Oh my, this might be my favorite box ever of all time. I don't even have a link for you guys to buy it because I'm not getting like a sponsorship situation, but dang, I think you should buy it. That is, that is something else. Wow. I'm done. I am, uh, I'm thoroughly satisfied with this box. I mean, I like food, so it's not that hard to satisfy a foodie person with a foodie box, but this is the one. I'm not saying that because Yum Yum Box didn't email me back or anything like that. I mean, that was a cool box. I like the idea there that they send you the monthly thing, the, the Asian mail one, that's cool. Comes with food and stuff, still good. Excuse me, fizzy, but strictly a food box. I like that it gives you stuff from different places and it's all really tasty really good even those habanero things are good i'm probably gonna go eat those right now actually i mean they tasted good but they were spicy so be aware of that but this is awesome i'm gonna go eat this food thanks for watching guys if you like this video make sure you let me know in the comment section below also give it a thumbs up the more you guys are interactive with these videos the better chance i have of people sending me these boxes because i can't afford to sign up for every different box i just i can't do it if i can get them sent for free i'm happy to make the videos for you guys and eat all the food so Everybody wins, kind of. Me more than everyone else, but that's okay. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.